Well, let's take a look and see how to solve this A here. Um, so I'm looking at um, writing count electronics by maker. And so uh, I'm supposed to look at the array list purchases and go through and find out how many gizmo objects purchased were electronic and of a manufacturer that's specified here. And they've given me some examples here. And uh, just to go through, it looks like uh, I'll double check here and see if, I, if this is my index of purchases. And some of these are electronic and some are not. Here's the electronic ones right here. And if so, somebody was, ask, ask, was going to ask me how many things by ABC I had. Well, here's uh, the manufacturer ABC and the manufacturer ABC. And these are both electronics. There's an ABC over here, but it's not electronic. It looks like I would have two electronics devices. And that's what they're telling me down here. Uh, it's worthwhile to take a look at this and make sure that you get it all right. We don't want to jump into our code too early. There may be some details here. Um, if they ask me for the electronics by the maker LMNOP, well, I've got that manufacturer here, um, but it's not an electronic device and there are no other devices. So obviously zero there. And likewise, XYZ has one electronic device and QRP uh, doesn't exist on here. So uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to make this happen. And it looks like it's probably going to be pretty straightforward. One of the questions you always want to ask yourself when you're looking at some sort of um, array list and the loop that you're going to use to go through that array list is, are you going to have to visit every single element in the array list? In regards to this question that they're asking, are we going to need to visit every one of these purchases in order to answer the question and return the correct value? In this case, we do have to do that. And so very often it's the case then that you're going to want to say, let's use a, uh, an enhanced for loop for that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an enhanced for loop in here, return the number of purchased gizmo objects that are electronic. So I am going to be returning a number. So let me think about how this is going to work. First of all, I'll jump right in and I know I'm going to have some value or some total. So let me go ahead and initialize total. And before I forget it, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I return total here at the bottom. That would be silly if I added everything up and forgot to return it. Now I need to go through that whole loop. And that whole loop, um, again, if I take a look up there, I can always double check and see what's going on here. Uh, I have a, an array list called purchases, and I'm going to go through every single one of them. And they're all gizmo objects. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and set up a, an enhanced for loop that's going to hit all those gizmo objects. So for every gizmo object, and what do I want to call it? I'll call it G, I guess, in those objects. What do they, what do they call that again? Uh, purchases. For every gizmo object in purchases, go through and do this thing here. And the thing that we're going to do is we're going to check to see if it's an object that we want to count. And we know what uh, makes it an object we want to count. If this thing G, if the maker of that thing G is equal to the maker that we're looking for, and that's a string equivalent, so I'm going to use dot equals maker. So this method, you may recall, you can take a look up there if you, if you don't remember, up in Gizmo here, they were telling us that there was this thing called uh, getMaker that we could use to get the maker. And so we're making reference to that, of course, right here. All right, so we'll get that maker. And if that equals the maker that we've been given to count, and if it's an electronic device, and this Gizmo G, has to be electronic. And they set up a, a Boolean method for me to do that as well. If both those are true, then I want to count this thing. I want to add one to the total number here. So total is going to be plus plus. Running out of room here. I'll put that in there. And then that's the end of my loop, actually. Right there's my loop. That's the only thing I need to do. Go through everything in there. If it's of the required maker and it's electronic, add one to that counter. And then once I get done going through all those, return that total. 
And that's the solution to part A. It's pretty straightforward. After you've had a chance to take a look at part B and try and solve it, go on to the next video.